It was one of gaming's best kept secrets. For the past two years, a team within Naughty Dog, creators of the Uncharted series, has been quietly working away on a project it believes will tell a story like nothing you've ever experienced before. And that game is The Last of Us. First came the teaser site, which gave us a name and the kernel of an idea. Just one peaceful night. A clean conscience. And yet, no one really knew what it was or who was making it. Until that trailer at the VGAs. And then, just two days later, Eurogamer TV found itself here at Naughty Dog HQ in Santa Monica, California. Which was as much of a surprise to us, since Sony didn't say where we were going until we arrived in the US. Naughty Dog's games have played a major part in defining the PlayStation era, from Crash Bandicoot on PS1, through Jack and Daxter on PS2, and onto Uncharted in the current generation. The Last of Us is a new game from a new team within the studio, and it's the brainchild of two gentlemen who led development on the universally acclaimed Uncharted 2. Hey. Okay, this is going to sound corny and it might not appeal to gamers, but I would say it's a love story. It's not a romantic love story, it's a love story between like a father-daughter-like relationship. A lot of that came through with uh, Tenzin. The, the, what we call the rescuer on Uncharted 2, and how we built the relationship with him. And we kept like joking, like, wouldn't it be intriguing to develop a whole game where the whole game you're building this relationship, it's not just one level. As a gamer, it's all about strategy and giving the player enough tools in their toolkit so that they can come upon something and choose, right? And have the consequences play out within their choices. It's a game, it's an experience, right? it's interactive. The trailer introduces us to a post-apocalyptic North America in which most of the population has been wiped out. The story focuses on the relationship between Joel, a grizzled survivor, and Ellie, his 14-year-old companion. There's no gameplay being shown yet, but Naughty Dog insists we can tell an awful lot about how it will play just from the trailer. It's teasing the fact that different kind of mechanics that you're going to be playing with within the gameplay setups, you know. Uh, you know, there's some melee, obviously, and then there's a gun, so where that goes, as far as strategies, is really intriguing. Which is why they spent so long making it. Here's what the trailer looked like in an early form. No textures, limited animation, and no music or dialogue. Once they were happy with the structure, they got the actors in to perform it. He's been called a violent thug, a brutal killer, and a torture. <laughs> me? He's just Joel to me. Hey. There you are. Are you okay? Better than that guy. So, Joe. I'm gonna take care of his buddy and then we quit this place. <laughs> We're probably steering it away from talking about gameplay right now. Uh, but we could probably say like it's it's story driven, right? It's, de it's definitely story driven, and we look at this. There's a marriage, right? The the holy triangle is story, gameplay, and art, you know, and they all have to to work off of each other. We approached this genre because we felt no one is really getting to the heart of it, which tells you something about the human condition, right? That's what you want to do as a storyteller. That's what we want to do as storytellers. We're telling it kind of the way we're. we're We've been developing this method at Naughty Dog. Uh, we feel like we're evolving it, uh, but I can't say anymore. <laughs> so while we're not yet able to see this third person survival adventure in action, we did get to have a poke around the studio and speak to some of its creators. Even with the very early sketches, we tried to contrast the characters with the environment. Uh, so to show that they don't belong uh, in this reclaimed by nature city. My job actually was to compose everything together, make sure that the environment and characters work together, uh, and of course do some final touch-ups so the final image could look like this. So you did some kind of like initial studying and discussion about what the characters should feel like, especially for Ellie, like trying to get the dirt, the right amount of dirt on her face, the right amount of freckles, and trying not to make her feel too pretty or like trying too hard. Um, Trying to make her feel like natural, but still have an appeal. Uh, that was very challenging. One of the really cool things that Naughty Dog does is they employ an editor per project that 
is in charge of helping with everything that makes it cinematic, and from the cutscenes to the dialogue, both in game and uh, in the cutscenes themselves. I helped put together that the uh, the viral video with all the news footage and and such, and the ant video that went out that drove everybody insane. Uh, and so, but then it was just we put it out there, and we were we were waiting and listening and reading a lot, mostly on uh, certain forums that I won't name. And uh, everybody was just getting more and more excited as people came up with clues and came up with clues and got really close and found the secret in the Uncharted game and then completely ignored it. And here is the finished article. It never lets up. It's a huge and risky undertaking for a studio well into its groove with the adventures of Nathan Drake. But simply churning out sequels, however good, won't keep everyone motivated. Primarily, over the years, we've staffed up um, uh, an incredible team, and we've got these people that at any other studio could be leads. And you know, when you start having a, a franchise like Uncharted, we become a target for headhunters and recruiters. And like you know, basically everybody in the company's had their their desk called and uh, you know ask if they'd like to to come work someplace else. And you know, we were afraid that if we did not give these people the opportunity to grow and take on more responsibility and try something different in their career, that you know, one day one of those calls might stick. So um, you know, really, we just wanted a chance to to em embrace the talent that we had here and give them another shot. And that also means not rushing them, which is why Naughty Dog has no intention of announcing a release date yet. I'm not saying it. If you're not going to tie yourselves into a release date as early as, uh, as, as a Chant 3. We have a lot of work to do and whatever. It's not even about tying ourselves in. It's just there's no reason right now. We're going to just make sure we have enough time to make this game the thing we want it to yeah, be. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, and it's going to be a completely amazing experience that no player has experienced before. The genre, the characters, the development, everything. Certainly, not only can a franchise see fatigue from its fans, but it's going to see fatigue from its fans a lot faster if the team is feeling fatigue from it. So um, that's why it's important for us to always tackle fresh content. And um, sometimes that's in the same franchise, and sometimes that's starting a new IP. You may, by now, be wondering what the Uncharted team is up to. Right now, they're not working that much, actually. They are, well, <laughs> some of them are like working mainly on DLC, uh, because we, uh, have, uh, we have a lot of like DLC uh, content coming up for Uncharted 3 uh, for the multiplayer, and a lot of them are on vacation. So uh, I think the team is going to regroup, uh, like after a party, after the, uh, the holidays, and just we're going to just figure out what's going to be the next move for that team. So, that'll be Uncharted 4 then. Excellent. Expect to see a lot more of The Last of Us over the coming months, but don't expect to see it in shops until next year. He tells me how these streets were crowded with people just going about their lives. <laughs> Must have been nice.